everybody welcome back to the jersey folks i got oh i got harry over here want to come in and say hi harry say hi to everybody hi hi well so it's been a minute since we had our last episode uh i actually meant to check and i forgot it was sometime i think in august of 2019 but a lot has happened since then uh, besides living through a global pandemic, we did that. Uh, we're living through P Putin's folly right now. A lot of stuff is going on. Uh, but we also moved. We moved in uh, November of 2019. We got in here right before, uh, right before the pandemic. And uh, I guess in maybe January of last year, in January, oh, oh, and we got a dog. We got, we have a uh, pandemic dog. Oh, we, oh, oh, <laughs> we got a pandemic dog. Bye. Yeah, that's our Maggie. Yep, I forgot about little Maggie. She, she loves these. So like I said, a lot has changed. Uh, but what was I, what was I in the press? Oh, so we got, we bought a new house. That's the big thing. That's, lead, that's leading us up to where we are. And so we have a finally finished basement. In working on the basement, getting the basement finished, um, it costs us a little bit of money. So because of that, um, I don't really have, we don't have a lot of money to actually furnish it. So what we've been doing, I have a few pieces that I got for free. And I, we, the Jersey folks, are going to take you on a little journey of painting all of this furniture. I decided I had to, you know, I was gonna go to Ikea and get all that stuff and try to make it look, you know, very uniform. And then it hit me, I'm like, you know what? Let's just make it a Mod Podge, a hodgepodge. Not a Mod Podge, that's what I'm gonna be using on some of the furniture, a hodgepodge. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go, like this is gonna be our bar area, like right over here. This whole area is gonna be the bar. So we're going to, um, I'm going to make some pieces. Oh, 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 and I'm thinking it's going to be, you know, friends style. Think friends cafe, uh, friends apartment, that kind of hodgepodge. So what I'm going to start doing now, uh, I'm going to show you some of the pieces that we have. Oh, you have and, uh, and the first step, uh, I have to wash all of it. I have to clean it. So let me take you on a little tour of all of the pieces that I have so far. All right, so come with me. All right, so what I've got here is this really nice hutch. This is solid wood. A friend of mine was getting rid of this. So I figure, why not? There is a, there's a few areas that, you know, it needs some touch up. It's, you know, she's had... This little beauty here has had her fun. Um, I am gonna separate, no, 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 this piece I'm gonna keep together. This is a really, this is solid wood. Look at this, this is beautiful. Uh, I'm not, I, I've got a bunch of different paint colors. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do with this one, but I gotta clean her up. Uh, let me see over here. I actually never even opened the drawer. Ooh, drawers open nicely. We got some nice cabinets. Lots of space. I never fully inspected this. I just saw it online and my husband went to go get it. And it's, she's a beauty. I like that. I think this is where we're gonna put, you know, most of our, our liquor. I have to figure out, figure that one out. All right, and then over here, it's a, it's a little bit of a mess. My kids have been having some fun down here. One day it will look nice, but I actually got some couches from a friend who was getting rid of them. And this is a really nice, um, this is a sleeper sofa. I'm not gonna do anything with this. I'm not gonna paint that. <laughs> uh, but over here, this, a lot of this is actually going to be our entertainment area. This is also going to be in the bar area. This and this little guy back here, okay. They're a hutch. The hutch I'm gonna break apart. That's gonna go into our entertainment area. These gigantic pieces that look like Greek columns, they're also going to be in our entertainment area. And then I've got these beauties right here. 
I love these, these corner pieces, which I can't really break apart, but those are two corner pieces that are also gonna go in the entertainment area. Oh, I also have a piece upstairs. Hmm, all right, uh, upstairs still sitting in my garage. So this gigantic piece, I'm gonna figure out how to put her over here. Um, and then I do have another piece that I'm actually gonna turn into a bar, a bar table. That's upstairs in my garage. All right, so we're gonna get started. First thing we're gonna do is clean all of it. because I needed to get the hardware off and getting the hardware off on that really big piece back there, that was, uh, that was a little bit of a problem. So now I'm gonna do all the washing, all right? So I've got my two buckets and this is, oh, and I had to go get my glasses, I couldn't see. It's terrible, getting old is terrible. So I needed to get my two buckets. I've got my Dawn dish soap over here and I got my clean water over here. That's all I'm gonna use. I am taking tips from the furniture flipping teacher, Lauren, I love you. I've been watching you like crazy to figure out how I'm going to do all of this stuff. So know that you have inspired me. So I'm using your tips and your tricks. And uh, now we're going to clean. it I took a towel to dry it off because there are lots of little nooks and crannies I didn't want any of the water pooling in it so I dried it off now I'm gonna tackle that piece this one is really interesting because those doors on the side don't actually come off they're not actually doors so that one's gonna be a little bit of I'm gonna have this one's gonna give me a little bit of trouble although I do really like this one it's so huge I don't know. it off, dried it, and I realized I had my phone in my back pocket. I never even recorded it. I meant to do a time lapse on it, but that's okay. Time lapse, done. It's all done. So I did notice a few things about this piece. I do really like it, but I think I said this before, these are not actual doors. So they don't come off. I was hoping they would. Um, I, and I don't really know of a way to get them off. Unless I just, you know, rip them off, which I don't really want to do that. I'm not that good with furniture yet. So I'm not going to do that quite yet. 
Um, a couple of other things. I took the handles off of this, but I don't know how to get this off. I think I need a screwdriver. Oh, there we go. Oh, these are little, oh, I see. I see, look at that. Look at that. These have got little pins in them. Where did I put the cup for this guy? Is it this guy? Yes. Oh, ho, ho. I did not realize that there were little nails. All right. And let's see, can I get this one off too? The other one just kind of popped off. Probably should get a screwdriver for this. All right, let's get a screwdriver. All right, so it did take me a minute uh, to get those little handles off. Uh, I had to kind of pry them off. I don't know if I'm gonna reuse that hardware, but now I'm just gonna take the hinges off of these and because these pieces are so old, they've got flat heads instead of the Phillips, uh, which this makes it a little more difficult to do. All right. Oh, and also on the fact that I can't see. Do you see my glasses? We've come into a little bit of a snag. And uh, in a nutshell, I'm trying to take the hinges off of these doors for this piece right here because they're really dirty. I wanted to clean them up. I wanted to spray paint them. Uh, there are six of them. I got five of them off without a problem. And then I got down to this little guy right here and he just does not want to come out. I tried the electric screwdriver. I had to bust out the manual screwdriver and our flathead has gone flat. There is nothing, I got nothing to grip onto here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to leave this here. I'll tighten this one back up. I'll try to just manually clean it. It's our piece, I'm not selling it. This is gonna be our liquor cabinet. So it's just one screw that's just I have one hinge that's gonna be hidden. That's okay. We don't really see the hinges. It's okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna move over and we're gonna use our plastic wood, our wood filler here to fill in all of the gaps and gouges. natural plastic wood, <laughs> my natural plastic wood. Uh, but I cleaned the furniture, rinsed the furniture, and I filled it in. And surprisingly, there wasn't that much. I know it seems like there's a lot. If you saw the drawer down here, there's actually quite a bit on here, but it's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, this is a really great piece. It's It looks like it is solid wood. It's not too heavy, but this is a really good piece. I'm, I'm very excited for this one. This piece in the back, um, I didn't have to do any wood filler on it, which was kind of cool. So I'm just going to have to scuff sand that one. I'm going to have to sand these down, but that's going to come. I'm not going to do that today. Uh, the one thing that I am realizing is that this is really going to take me a little while. Um, you know, still during the school year, we're just on spring break right now. I've actually tried to get down here since Friday. Uh, today is Wednesday, and this is the first chance I've had to get down here to, to start this whole process. Um, but I'm gonna let this set, I'm gonna let this dry overnight because there are some areas like over here. So there's some areas where I had to build up some corners, so I really want that to dry before I sand it. 
But I think that's gonna be all for right now. Hopefully I'm gonna get down here tomorrow to sand. Hopefully tomorrow's gonna be a nicer day because I actually don't wanna sand in the basement. Uh, I wanna bring the furniture outside to sand. So I definitely wanna get these two pieces scuff sanded tomorrow. I'd love to start painting. That would be exciting. Um, I'll do the paint reveal tomorrow. I've got some really nice paint colors. Uh, but I hope that you join us on this journey uh, on seeing how I furnish the basement with uh, secondhand and secondhand furniture. Most of it free. It's gonna be pretty exciting. Uh, so I think that's all. And you know what that means. That's all, folks.